More violence in Mexico means another travel warning for Americans. KUSI's John Soderman joins us live near the border at the Otay Mesa port of entry with the very latest on that warning. John? Yeah, that warning is prompted by something that's just, uh, it's just so, so horrible. Anyway, let's show you a map to show you which states are involved. Take a look. The most serious is the state of Chihuahua, home to Ciudad Juarez, which of course is such a violent uh, border city. And uh, there's some other states that have uh, the, also had those warnings posted. You see them right there. Uh, posted by something that is very horrible. Take a look at this video. Over the weekend, three employees of the U.S. consulate in Ciudad Juarez were gunned down, including a mother and father with their little baby girl in the back seat. The mother shot in the head, the father shot in the neck and the arm right in front of their little baby girl. And they were coming from a birthday party at the U.S. consulate there. Now, in light of this horrible violence, we interviewed uh, uh, intrepid journalist uh, Vicente Calderon, who works for TijuanaPress.com. I asked him what the mood is on the streets of Tijuana today. Take a listen. The things in Tijuana are a little bit different than in the rest of the country. We are seeing an increase, a very heavy increase, on drug-related violence in different cities along, uh, around the country. In Tijuana, the situation has been changing a little bit. For the better? For the better. This is apparently due to the cooperation between the U.S. and Mexican authorities who were able to, capt were able to capture some of the most dangerous criminals at the beginning of this year. Now here's a close uh, look at uh, Tijuana and basically what has happened is as a result of this horrible story that happened over the weekend, we learned that the murder rate is actually going down in Tijuana and I asked uh, Vicente why isn't that being uh, you know, reported and he said the reason is American journalists are not going to Baja to report this. So there have been tremendous successes between, or, or the successes are in part the result of cooperation between U.S. and Mexican authorities in the form of more intelligence. Now, uh, we have some pictures we're going to show you. 10 and 11 of very heavily armed federales today patrolling the streets of Tijuana. Pretty ominous looking. We'll have that for you tonight at 10 and 11. We're coming to you live from the border. John Soderman, KSI News. All right, John, and do you know how long this travel warning right now will be in effect? It's in effect for a month, and also it's important to note that uh, uh, family members of the U.S. consulate in Tijuana have been given the option to leave the country. It's not as if they're being ordered to. They have been given the option to leave the country. Sounds very serious what you're talking about. We know this was a travel warning. Do you know the difference between the warning and a travel alert? Is this uh, one step higher, more serious? Yes, it is one step higher. But as you mentioned uh, in, in your lead, this, we're coming up on spring break. So, I mean, th this is this is something that parents and, uh, you know, college kids should really pay attention to. Yeah, and take note of. All right, John, thank you for the story.